Well, the Biden administration responds to deadly Israeli attacks on Palestinians in Rafah. Over the weekend, an Israeli airstrike hit a tent camp, killing at least 45 people. Another attack west of Rafah killed dozens more. And tonight, the U.S. is demanding that Israel do everything possible to minimize civilian harm. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. So, Owen. Tracy, in that weekend attack that left dozens dead, including women and children, Israel says its military targeted two senior Hamas militants. And the Biden administration says as soon as it saw what happened, it immediately expressed its deep concern about what took place and urged Israel to conduct a full investigation. And tonight, preliminary results of that investigation are in. Deadly attacks in Rafa, one sparking a fire in a tent camp, killing dozens of people. And at the White House this afternoon, this reaction. And we understand that this strike did kill two senior Hamas terrorists who are directly responsible for attacks against the Israeli people. But as we've also said many times, Israel must take every precaution possible to do more to protect innocent life. The Israeli military says a secondary explosion sparked the blaze, adding it's looking into the possibility that weapons were stored in the area. The fire also could have ignited fuel, cooking gas canisters, or other materials in the densely populated camp housing displaced people. I think this speaks very clearly to the challenge of military airstrikes in densely populated areas of Gaza, including Rafah, because of the risk of civilian casualties. The strike caused widespread outrage, including from some of Israel's closest allies. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said it was a result of a tragic mishap, although he has vowed to press ahead. Meanwhile, the U.S. State Department echoes concern over the attack, saying it is deeply saddened by the tragic loss of life. Those images were heartbreaking, and I know the pain uh, that those, suffering, those families are suffering through must be unimaginable, especially those uh, who lost children. Most of Gaza's hospitals are no longer functioning. The fighting in Rafah has made it nearly impossible for humanitarian groups to import and distribute aid to southern Gaza. Israel has a right to go after the Hamas terrorists responsible for the cold-blooded murder of civilians, as appears to have been Israel's aim here. And Hamas should stop hiding behind civilians in Gaza. And tonight, the Biden administration also says Israel's initial investigation revealed that used, quote, the smallest bomb in their arsenal targeting terrorists 1.7 kilometers away from the Al-Mawazi area where this fire took place, end quote. The administration also says reports of tanks in central Rafah have not been verified. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.